All right. Thanks, everyone, for um, stopping by SAS Bytes. Um, today is August 15th, and uh, we're going to be talking about extends. We'll probably have a few more people popping in, so uh, if you can, just go ahead and mute your audio for now. Um, feel free to unmute if you got to ask a question or something like that. Um, but I'll try and get through this relatively quick, and uh, we'll start rocking. Um, I'm usually not looking at the screen, so if there's something you need to tell me, I'm probably not going to see a, a bit of text in the chat window or something. Um, but let's go ahead and let's do this. All right. Cool. Can everyone see this all right? I can go ahead go full screen on it. Boom. All right. Can everyone see this, the, um, the SAS window? Yes. Yes. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to go full screen because I need to be able to get back to some code. What we're going to talk about is extends. Uh, we talked about um, includes last week and uh, just kind of the basics of how you can create a mixin and use that mixin and uh, how it can be awesome. So today we're going to dive a little deeper into extends. Um, extends are near and dear to my heart because I really think that's where the power of SAS and this really concept of this concept of modular design comes into play. Um, if you're coming in, please go ahead and, and mute your mic because there's some good background audio going on. Um, so let's talk about the real basics of extends because I want to get through a couple different quick demos here. Um, uh, what an extend allows you to do, uh, and you can kind of see on the left-hand side, I'll just kind of show a quick demo, um, is I've got extend number one. That's got a font size of two Ms. Well, I can extend it multiple times and use that same font size two for multiple different classes. And you can see how it just does a little you know, comma separator between all of your different selectors. And that's really the heart of what, what extends allow you to do, is instead of reusing that font size of 2Ms over and over and over again, all we're doing is we're adding selectors to that, um, uh, that property, to that chunk of code. Uh, so let's, let's uh, take a look at how that happens real quick. Uh, and one thing you'll see is I'm using this little uh, percentage sign. And what that means is that this is a silent selector. Um, and you can actually see here um, uh, this extend three of orange. You can see it actually doesn't show up. It never prints because I'm using silent selectors. If I was to use a regular class here, you'd see it would show up. The other is twofold, really. For one, if you have lots of these, you might have a large library of things to extend. They don't get printed unless you use them. Um, the second thing is that um, whenever you extend like an actual class, um, you'll extend that instance of the class, but you'll also extend any instance of the class in your entire like style sheet. So if you've got like some kind of widget blah 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 dot extend three, it'll also extend that one. So uh, that's kind of an, an example for another time, but. Uh, Suffice to say, I really like silent extends because you're never going to use them anywhere except here to describe what your styles are. So um, I tend to just those are kind of my default go-to is just use a silent extend. Um, so then to actually use those extends, you can see we have class one here, and we're going to extend extend number one. And again, um, you need to use whatever uh, whether silent or class or ID that you're actually extending. So you see we've got the um, percentage sign there as well. But what that does is this font size of 2 gets class 1. And you can also see class 2 is also extending it, so class 2. And class 3 is extending it, so class 3. So what this allows me to do is have one chunk of styles and then extend any selector I want onto it. So it could be class, it could be an ID, it could be a combination of IDs, classes, and elements. Uh, so that's what the extend allows you to do. Um, you can also see that we can use multiple um, extends. So class 3 can be extended in two different places if you want. Um, you can actually have extends, extend, extends. I mean, so it's, it's pretty flexible. It's, it, kind of, it cascades kind of like that um, or bubbles up, I think is a good way to put it. Um, one thing about, um, about extends is that what's happening is class 3 is actually getting moved to the top of the sheet. And let me demonstrate that real quick by uh, going font size 3M. You might think the font size of 3Ms on the left here is going to be superseded by font size of 2Ms, which is getting called there. But if you look at your CSS, that actually does not happen because the extend that you're extending 
is at the top of the page, and those other styles get printed down below. So one thing to know with extends is you're actually extending that class up at the top, wherever that extends actually um, uh, started, originated, that's where you're going to be extending. So um, just a couple caveats there uh, when dealing with Cascade and those kind of things. Um, but that is the basics of how you do some more um, like specific examples of that. By the way, if you notice, I'm using Sassmeister. Um, but last time, I, I had trouble getting the font size kicked up a little bit. Um, and so I just went to the DOM and deleted their header and footer and blew it up a bit. So sorry, guys, for hacking on your, um, your logo. But Sassmeister rocks. Use it. It's really cool for presentations like this. So all right. So see if I can remember what I was going to do on here. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do more of a practical example. Um, I do this a lot. Um, with using extends is kind of like my main use for extends is the idea of creating these um, these actual styles and then applying those styles throughout your site so whether it's like a tit like titles are, are really common for that you'll have you know a dozen different um, uh, different properties in in for this you know for your different titles and you want to can, you know use those over and over again throughout your site but you don't want to use and include because they're always the same so what this allows me to do is I can create a main title here, and I can give it font size and a color and you know all sorts of other stuff I'm sure you do. And I'll get to this here in a second. Um, and then later on, when I have some random title, um, I can go ahead and extend that. And you know some other time I'll probably have like my my other title. And what that allows me to do is have one place in my code where I define what that what that title is going to look like, and then I extend all of those classes to it that I need that to be um, applied to. So in, in a way, it's kind of like making a um, um, like a I want to try to say um, like a, a stylistic class. I'm losing the word now instead of a semantic class, but to actually use a um, to create a, a class that you can apply. And then you can go to all the DOM elements you want and apply in that. Um, and apparently, I did not turn off my. Okay, I'll get back to later. Um, and then <laughs> now I got to turn it off. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, and then you can do the same thing with say some copy text. So my all my copy text is a certain size and a certain color, and of course using Comic Sans, and there I can extend that as well. So what this allows you to do is, is create these uh, like stylistic, stylistic descriptors as silent extends, and then use those anywhere in your styles that you need to. And what's really nice about this is it, it takes the dependence off making your selectors and classes within the DOM really pretty, because as we know, in, especially in Drupal, it's not that easy to update what those actual descriptors, uh, those, those styles and classes and IDs are in in the DOM, so often it's easier just to make these um, these extends that you know have a really nice name like main title, secondary title, or if you really even want to go on semantic, you could say like blue title, red title, and then you can apply those anywhere you want with whatever selector combination you need to get there. Um, and one thing just to note, if you do need to like toss this into um, like my widget into a class. They work just as well, and they bubble on up. And you can see everything is now prefixed by my widget. So whatever class um, combination selectors you need to get there, it makes it pretty easy to do that. So this is my main go-to for um, for using extends. I think it makes a really powerful system to be able to create all of these um, presentational classes. There's what I was looking for, presentational class. All these presentational classes, put them all in one place, and then go apply those throughout all of your um, all of your like style components. So if you're breaking all of the blocks and views and, and, and nodes and all that into different components within your site, then you can just do the selectors uh, like you normally would. Like my, here's my block, so my widget, and then it happens to be have a class of you know my title class, and I can extend the title. And somewhere else I might have a completely different selector, but that's fine because we can always refer back to that that presentational extend. Of a main title, I use presentational air quotes because presentational is sometimes bad. <laughs> um, 
so there's there's a really common use for it. Um, interesting use, and this is kind of mixing um, yesterday's with today, is using um, extends as a way to um, apply um, font icons or to do sprites and stuff like that. Uh, here I'm going to show an example of, of a sprite icon mixing. And um, oh, you know, actually, let me sorry. A couple things I was going to note with this I, I didn't get back to was um, another neat thing with extends is that you can um, you can cascade uh, or sorry you can um, um, I just lost the word. I always lose words on live <laughs> live broadcast. Um, you can always nest. You can always nest things inside of an extend. So you can see main title will get this style, and then any main title A, which often happens. You often have a, like a link inside of your your headers. So you'll see that that widget that A will get text decoration of none. And if there isn't an A, you know it doesn't matter. Um, so that's a nice nice thing you can do with extends. The other thing you can do with an extend is you can apply other things to the actual selector. So you can have like main copy P or main copy LI, or even if you want to put like um, uh, something, it, that works as well. So whatever whatever your um, uh, whatever you're extending gets replaced into that little chunk. So that's a really the other cool thing about it is that it, it'll insert that kind of like a variable, plug that right into wherever your silent extend is, and you can wrap stuff around it. You can use pseudo elements and all that kind of stuff, which is exactly what I'm going to demonstrate here. All right, so, um, and it looks like I missed a period. Copy fail. So what I'm doing here is, this is actually con coming from Funk Custom. Um, uh, this was the, actually the first um, SAS bytes that I demoed. Uh, so we'll just walk you through, we have a couple classes here um, that have styles and we're going to extend. Uh, we have a mustache and a pipe. I was doing some mustaches. Um, and I can give it a font name. I can give it a display. And I can do other... St There's actually a bunch of other styles I do as well. I just wanted to come out for the demo. And then here we've got the actual content. So with Font Custom, it, it prints these out automatically for you. And it's really nice. And so really the only thing that's going to be different from mustache to pipe is whatever that content element is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a mix-in. It's called Icon Font. And we're going to pass in the name of the font, uh, or sorry, the name of the icon. So um, you know, one of them is going to be pipe, one of them is going to be handlebars, one's going to be a regular mustache. Uh, so that, that's what the names are. And what's going to happen is it's going to extend whatever uh, icon is prefixed, and then it's going to extend that that icon dash that font name. So in this case, it's going to be icon dash pipe. In this case, it's going to be icon dash mustache. And we can see those up here. So what happens with this first one with my button is that my button gets extended on this, uh, basically this top block, which is going to extend pretty much anything you pass into it. So you can see we're doing pipe, so icon pipe gets extended. And then it also is going to extend this content F101, which is right here. So what this allows us to do is create a really simple um, uh, include, a real simple mix-in that just says, I want my icon font, I want a pipe. And that's going to extend both icon pipe, which is the specific icon, and it's also going to extend this block, which is just kind of like the general, um, all of my icons are going to look like that. Uh, and you're going to get the output that you need. So a couple cool things about this, um, real quick, is what do I want to show? Um, oh, uh, this one right here, this is kind of just a throwback. Um, what you can then also do is you can pass in uh, something in the content block. And this is just some lovely fun with Ruby. Um, so I can do like a little bit of text. So I could pass something like that in. And you can see for this specific one, for my button, I'm going to have a text shadow. So um, this is really nice when you want to do like just something really specific that button that's different from other ones. And uh, you create a great system here using extends, and it's a combination of extends and mixins. Um, and you know you can see it really takes it to the next level. Um, and this also kind of shows how you can actually send in um, something that's been concatenated. So here we have icon dash something, and it's going to extend that. So you can create mixins that basically formulate what that, um, what that item is that you're going to extend. And that just gives you a lot more power. You don't have to always extend the exact same thing. That, that whatever gets extended can be changed by whatever you're passed into that mix. So that's the...
specific questions on those they want me to um, take a look back over. Um, otherwise, that's extends. Basics, use it to extend presentational classes, presentational air quotes classes, and also to be used in things like, uh, like this icon font. Questions? Questions? No? Everyone just loved it? It's that simple? Any thoughts? They're in the, they're in the comments. Oh, they're in the comments. You know I should read those comments. I'm expecting people actually to talk. Um, yeah, Courtney points out that um, using that font name, probably, yeah, only available in 3.2. Um, ah, I'm missing, losing what the word is on that. Extends it. Oh, extends and media queries. Yeah, let's go ahead and I'll give the quick caveat with extends and media queries. Um, because what an extend does um, is to um, uh, to append a selector to a style, you can't append a media queried style or a media queried selector into that. You know, you can't have my class, comma, media query something, comma, something like that. So just because of the nature of how extends work, they're not going to work from within a media query. Um, there's a couple things you can do about that. For one, if what you're extending is inside the same media query, um, that will work. So you could, um, you know, put the thing you're trying to extend in that media query as well. Um, that gets a little messy. There's a few tricks you can do, like with importing all of your extends into all your different media queries. Um, that's great with silent, silent extends, that's for sure. Um, or just going from a mobile-first um, approach, you know, apply everything there, and then you're going to be building up. Your media queries are typically going to handle like layout and maybe like font size changes and those types of things. The other thing you can do is you, you what the let's see the class you extend that can have media queries in it. So if you've got a title that you're extending that you want to be different sizes at different media queries, you can put those media queries right inside of that title extend. So that's probably the better way to approach it. So it's probably just more a, an approach issue. Um, so don't like you can't extend something different depending on what media query you're in. But you can change what that extend looks like and it behaves like depending on the media query. So there's a few ways to approach that. Um, let's see. Um, oh, and apparently SASMICE are still throwing some errors for some of the guys. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that is the presentation. Anyone have any other quick questions? Um, extends are their blast. I, I really am I'm looking forward to really taking them to the next level um, on some of these upcoming projects I'm doing. Um, I had, had um, uh, a coworker uh, talk about an idea of actually creating mixins and the, uh, for all of his kind of like extending, and the mixins would actually call all the extends, and you like pass in the selectors of what mixins or what uh, what classes or what um, I'm trying to I'm totally blank on that on what classes you want to extend. So you can go really far with this, like creating mixins, call extends, and all those kind of things. But it's a powerful tool. It's something that makes uh, SAS really stand out. And um, yeah, it hit me up. Uh, you see um, my Twitter handle down there, Mike Godbolt. Um, hit me up on Google Plus um, if you have any other questions about it. Uh, thanks again for SASMeister for letting me hack up their uh, their site. <laughs> I'll, I'll put up a, 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 a an issue or maybe a pull request. I'll try to fix it. Um, up to that in a bit. So thanks for coming by um, next week. Uh, I don't know what we're talking about yet, but hopefully we'll dive into some more SaaS goodness. And uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Take care.